What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Dreamcatchers Fishing Channel. Today, I'm with my guy, Ryan Evers, who guides for us. And today, we're going to be talking about, oh my goodness, spin that booger around. How big is that fish? 12 pounds, 8 ounces. 12 pounds, 8 ounces. 27 and a quarter long. 27 and he, you can hear him talk. That's <laughs> unbelievable. Anyways, today we're going through Ryan Evers' biggest bass ever, how it went down, the whole story. He's an awesome customer of ours. Like I said, he guides for us too. When we're in a pinch, he's a stud. Are you a stud, Ryan? Try to be. <laughs> all right, 12 pound, eight ounce giant. I want to know all of the details. All right, so I started off with how this whole thing came about i uh i back in the day this just happened about three years ago and um i watched oliver and i all those guys on youtube and stuff and i had some small baits and stuff like that i was throwing some six inch stuff uh some huddlestons and stuff on like a extra heavy i mean something cheap like some walmart crap like it was it was just bad so heard about austin shop i came over he hooked me up with uh this guy right here um game craft it's a 230 magnum i believe yeah and uh uh came in it was on i don't even remember it I, well it was october 30th october 30th i came in and uh, grabbed all this up got a uh i think it was a 150 dollar 150 tatula 150 yep, tatula. and a tatula and, uh, or a uh, dxs beast yep the, right. yep and um so that way i can throw it and uh because like i said i've been throwing on some cheap stuff and mess with it a little bit really wanted to get into it watch some austin's videos and uh and came in and got all that up the next day this this is this is a funny part so october 31st is the day it happened and uh the day at, after the day after october 30th the, the, you the came in and after. got outfitted for swim bait stuff and the day the after. day after and um it's, it's really funny because me and my wife we were having our first kid and so i go in at, i think it was like 10 o'clock and uh we go in there and you know how it is i mean I, you know i was all hopped up like you know it's a boy it's a boy it's a boy and so i go in there <laughs> my wife's gonna kill me for saying this but <laughs> i go in there and uh first thing comes up it's a girl and you know i'm not boned i i just i wanted it to be healthy and i i'm glad it was a girl but uh anyways I, I we're heading back and i'm like you know i'm going uh i'm going fishing you know i'm taking the rest of the day off shutting the shop down said i'm gone so i load up head out just had all my stuff wanted to go anyways so I head down to a pretty special lake and um, uh, launch a boat, all that stuff. And we go in and uh, by myself, um, head down towards the dam. And uh, I'm fishing around a little bit and pull up, uh, there's, a, there's a rock pile uh, next to the dam. And I start there and I kind of work around on some brush. And uh, these baits right here, they sink a lot faster. I don't know if a lot of people are familiar with them, but they're, they sink a lot faster than something like a uh, river to uh, like S waiver. S waiver, I really like even a depth. Now yeah. I really like throwing an S waiver over brush, um, which I was still learning back then. I mean, I hadn't messed with anything like this then. So it was going down a little bit. I'm like, man, I just spent a hundred bucks. And I don't want to lose it. And uh, so I pull on around. I have one uh, about a six pound follower. I mean, it, it charged at it, and I mean, it come up and you know gave it the pop pop. And it came and just kind of sat there and dove back down. Well, I was like, man, this might be a pretty good day. And I don't remember who it was, but they, they probably watching this. Um, he came up to me, he asked me, you know, had any luck today? And I said, no, I just started. And he said, yeah, I've had uh, two followers. And I said, well, I just had one. And he wished me good luck and all that stuff. And so I fished on around and, and on this certain lake, I've got a really good creek arm that I always go to. And, and it's kind of funny because a lot of people think I caught this fish by the dam. I think you have a video of TK missing a giant, like a teener, teener, a giant. Uh, so I said, TK, we need to go around this point, just kind of work over top of this brush because these trout are up in the water column. Literally, we roll around the point. TK is maybe third cast down this little brush pile. He says, "Dude, dude, look at this, look at this!" Right at the boat. Literally, TK and I thought it was a striper. And there's no stripers in the lake. It was probably a 26, 27, 28 inch largemouth. Oh I mean, just oh. absolutely oh. giant. No doubt a double digit fish, maybe a fish pushing in the teens. And uh, it just didn't happen right there, which happens in swim bait fishing. Oh my gosh. A, oh my gosh, dude. That was a 27 inch largemouth, 20, 26, 25 to 27 inch largemouth. Just, that tried, thing, to hit, just tried to hit the gang craft out the boat. Oh my gosh. 
Right. And, Which um, this one had the has the body of a Tina. Yeah, I mean, 27 and a quarter, I mean, the thing's huge. It's just stupid. Yeah. But uh, so um, I, I talked to him, went on around, and I left and go to this creek arm and uh, pull up, and I can't make this up. The very first dock I pull up, so the first dock I've ever drugged this thing by. I mean, the first one, I go, I, I fish the back corner of it, and this dock kind of comes out. It has like a little walkway area and it comes out and then the rest of the dock this lake has some just giant docks i mean more than a lot of people's worth a lot more than people's houses i mean it's crazy and uh i wonder what lake yeah i wonder what lake yeah like it's some big secret but uh so i fished the back corner and it's 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 pretty windy um like i said it's october it's it's probably about four o'clock in the afternoon by now and uh, by the time i got down there and i throw it into the little the there's a small corner throw to the front nothing and the wind's blowing my boat out and so i you know I, I, I try not to get on the trolling motor too much and um so i'm drifting out i'm about 10 yards off the the, the end of the dock and i just soft toss back in to along the sides of the the pillars of the dock and then just swim it out let it go down just a little because it's pretty deep right here this dock's probably 15 foot deep so it's a deeper dock and uh, i let it go down about five or six foot and start bringing it out well it gets out to the very end and to this day, I mean, it's burned in my mind. Like, it, it, I thought it's a catfish. I'm like, <laughs> catfish is going to eat this right now. And I pull it out, twitch, twitch. And I mean, it, it, it chokes it. I mean, it had this thing almost dead to right sideways in its mouth, which this mouth is not, that's the only thing I don't like about it is the mouth is nowhere near as big as it was. But she almost had it fully choked sideways. And um, I set the hook, and I mean, she, she didn't move. I mean, she, I was like, oh my, my Lord, I'm like, this, this is the catfish. And it, it, it's got that rod. I mean, and that rod's, it's it's a stud of a rod. I mean, was it, it had three, it been over. Was it the three over, to 10 ounce? Yes, it's the 10. Yeah. It, it's a stud. And uh, it had it doubled over. I mean, about this far in front of the, the, the real seat was bent. And she took me around to the front. And um, at that point, I'm like, this thing's fighting like a bass. I'm like, this, you know, catfish are kind of, you don't feel head checks. It's kind of dead weight. Well, this thing was head checking hard. I'm like, oh if this is a bass i'm like this is ridiculous and the only thing in my head was no one's gonna believe me that i've missed it I, at the time i thought it was a 10 pound bass like there's nobody gonna believe me but no one's gonna believe that i have this on i'm like please just get it in for that reason because nobody's gonna believe me it pulls me around to the side of the boat it comes up and then i see it and then it's over it's game over i mean knees knocking i'm freaking out net stuck it dives under the boat and about 10 seconds later i hear doo 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 and it had hit the bottom of the boat and i heard oh the lure gosh. hit the boat and i bring it up and she lays over on her side and, I, and i'm just literally about to lose it finally get the net out i fall over on my side i mean it, it looks like i've been fishing for one day like i had no idea what i was doing <laughs> i get her in the net and her net her head goes in the net and she's too big she she was too long so the, the depth of the net was only like 16 inches or so she, she wouldn't go in there so i dropped the rod i grab her tail i shove her in there and I, and I flip her in and she hits the deck and i'm just looking at her and i'm like what just happened you oh, know like i, I can't gosh. believe this and uh so get her in get her out and throw in the live wells and uh also got some pictures that he's gonna put up over uh when it happened but Uh, um, get all my pictures and everything and, and where in my scale I think it said like 11-1 or something like that so now I'm really freaking out um, I, I, I pack up I haul out of there um, make a phone call to my wife I'm a hyperventilating. late and she, she thought I'd wrecked the boat like that's her first thought I remember I you so, telling me that yeah I, I remember I, she, you were freaking out so much so that she bad. thought something was wrong she thought something was wrong because I'm freaking out so bad <laughs> and before this my PB was like six pounds so I mean this just blows it out of the water and uh so I go to the hatchery, uh, pull in and go up there. And I can't remember the name. I'm friends with him on Instagram now. Super good guy. When the hatchery is still there, they tore it down now. But uh, pull in there and I walk over there. You know, I walk around for like three or four minutes and uh, nobody comes out. I finally knock on the door. He comes out and I'm like, hey, I got a, I got a bass here. I, I need to wait if you do that. He said, yeah, sure. Like, is it alive? And I said, oh yeah, yeah, she's going back. And uh, so he walks out there. I put her up and, and he, his face is like, oh my Lord. 
and we get her out, throw her in the bag. We take official measurements um, as a certified scale. What, what was her girth? Do you remember the girth? Um, 21 and three, almost 22 inches, I believe, when when uh, when oh when she was gosh. there. But uh, so we do that. He does all that. We get my pictures and all that stuff. Put her back in the box, and I go back to the ramp. And uh, I was gonna take like a sunset picture or something with it. Cause, I mean, this this is once in a lifetime type of thing, you know. And uh, get back there, and a the guy on a barge, I pull it out, and he he freaks out. He's like, "Oh my gosh, what the heck?" So he comes over there, he takes my picture and everything. I got all that, and I got a video of me releasing her, and uh, I put her in the water and I revive her for a minute. She swam off just as good as anything. She's still in there, and but I'm telling you, that was just a wild. I mean, the day after, you know, I get set up with it and. It happens. That is on freaking I mean, real, dude. A giant, 27 and a half inches. So let's look at the bait. Let's look at the bait. The Gancraft 230, and I think it's Waka IU. Yep, it is. Is the color? I mean, this exact bait. I mean, everything to to the T. So this is what did, she ate. Did you re, did you retire the bait or? Uh, I retired it for a year and a half, and then me and my wife was out on the boat one day, and I'm like, it was an overcast day, and I got a lot better with you know glide bait fishing, what conditions and all that stuff, and uh, so um, I pull it out, and I see it's a little bit overcast, windy. Pull it out, on two that day, tossed it out, four and a half pound spot. It almost got hung in the dock, and I pulled it back in. And you said, you know that I haven't pulled it back out since. Oh my oh, gosh. It's, it's, there she is. <laughs> Unbelievable. That is incredible. One of else. the biggest bass, honestly, in the last uh, last decade. It was the, it was, so he told me, he looked it up. It was the biggest bass since 1993. A, a guy caught a 13 even, I believe. But the way he told me was he weighed on like one of those analog scales. So it, it was the biggest bass to come out of that lake Yeah. Um, within the past pretty much 20 years that was a certified scale oh so i my mean gosh it could have went either way i mean his could have been 13 it could have been 13 and a half or it could have been 12 and a half we don't know but but the craziest week of bass fish i've ever had that I mean, is on especially the day after i get set up with the right stuff um but like i said bro that's a shameless plug for dream catchers it is i mean they'll put you literally i don't think you could do it any better to to, to literally come in here and say we can put you on the fish because the day after i get to 12 and a half pounds <laughs> that's on hilarious. the setup so it was, it was pretty awesome dude that's the fish of a lifetime i, I say is. fish of a lifetime do you think you'll ever beat it i went hold on you told me something in the story you told me you cried when you caught her you know i, I probably there's probably a tear shed i'm not gonna lie i mean i'm i'm not gonna lie to you i don't care about i'm a pretty emotional guy i mean i you know how many I, words were said <laughs> you know i don't even remember but there was probably a lot by the time i hooked her and before she was in the boat i mean you know my mom probably wouldn't be too happy but you know <laughs> but uh unreal. it was it was crazy but i mean i, I made a trip down to uh, headwaters specifically to beat this fish um a, about six months ago and the biggest one i caught down there was like a seven but uh six and a half but uh didn't uh didn't get another one on there it's a new lake pretty good lake but um threw some big baits around down there and i'm a big bait guy if i can do it if i'm fun fishing i'm throwing a big bait i mean that's, that's so just, awesome i like it it's part of me now that's sick bro well i'm pumped up for you that oh, was yeah. one of the most amazing fish catchers and She's just an one. amazing story <laughs> un freaking believable <laughs> crazy dude all right so crazy 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 story unbelievable that fish is just a monster hey swing by dream catchers fishing supply if you want swim bait stuff we got everything everything we got hard Absolutely. to find swim baits we've got just Ship good old faithful yeah just got a big shipment in today of some defiance and uh got some drts on the way and a bunch of De Depths 250s in the shop. But anyways, swing by Dreamcatchers Fishing. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate you, big dog. Appreciate Subscribe it. to our channel. We're out.